How's it going everyone? It's Kay Lumbity here and welcome back to another video game review. Today we're going to be talking about WWE 2K23, the latest and maybe not quite the greatest wrestling game to come out from WWE. I personally love the SmackDown vs. Raw games the most. I like those games better than the 2K games. But this definitely is a step in the right direction, especially for what I enjoy the most, which I enjoy GM mode the most. And the GM mode in this is pretty fun. It's a lot better than last year's, and there's a lot to do in it, and there's a lot of just customization in this game too that I want to talk about a little bit. So let's talk about WWE 2K23. First things first, this game does look really good. This is definitely the best looking WWE game to release yet. It is great, the entrances are great, all the characters look pretty darn good, and I really like the way that this game plays as well. I think that this game is a lot less clunky than the last game. I felt like WWE 2K22 felt a little bit clunky, and I never really got used to the controls in that one. Even though, yes, the controls are similar, it just feels like everything's a little bit more fluid in this game. It just feels like everything just goes a little bit smoother. I've noticed that the downloading in this game of custom content also just works smoother than it did in WWE 2K22. I just never really had much luck when it came to that game, and I don't really know why. But 2K23 so far has been fantastic, and by so far I mean over 30 hours at this point. <laughs> um, so I definitely like this game, I definitely enjoy it, and I love the gameplay, love the graphics, I love all the entrances, they got all the superstars. Uh, exactly how they really should be. There's only a few that don't quite look like how I would, you know, I, I think they could have done a better job on a few of them. Like, Johnny Gargano doesn't quite look right. I feel like he just looks a little bit off. And there's some characters like that. But overall, for the most part, they look pretty close to spot on. Now, let's talk about GM mode, which is my favorite mode. The mode where you get to set up the matches, you get to compete against the other WWE brands. And I love this game mode because I've always liked the behind the scenes stuff. I've always liked creating the championship matches, setting up the matches, having the, the matches scored, and I just like being able to determine who's the champion at the time, who's you know in a rivalry at the time, and I just enjoy that stuff. And there's another mode that allows this as well, but you know, GM mode is really the more competitive out of all of the modes because the in this one you're competing with the AI to basically see if you can get more views than the other WWE brands. So it's SmackDown, Raw, NXT, and I always pick WCW just because I feel like, hey, why not? You know, nobody else is running WCW at the moment, so why not just bring them back? So <laughs> I always pick WCW and compete using them. I do hope in the next game they add ECW in because I feel like that's a huge missed opportunity. And I do hope in the next game they also let you add your custom show into GM mode. Because you can add your custom show into WWE Universe mode, but you can't add it into GM mode yet. And I, I hope they fix that in the future because you can use your own character as your like general manager of your brand. But you can't use your own show. And that's a little bit disappointing. Hopefully they fix that in the future. But I think that it still is in a step in the right direction. The drafting works phenomenally. Every single season, basically, it's all uh, you play. Basically, not it's it's technically a whole year. You play until a WrestleMania, and then it will reset into a new season. Um, but it's not like you're playing a full pay per view, like twelve pay per views or anything like that. You know, you're just doing a few pay per views, and then it's just like like a handful, and then it's WrestleMania, and then it starts a new season. And I hope that they do fix that in the future as well, so it's a whole year of pay-per-views, like a whole 12 pay-per-views. I think that'd be a lot better. Um, and I do I do like the seasons, though. I do like that they split it up, and there's a new draft every single season. If you set up the draft, then you will literally have a draft every year, and I really like that. I like that aspect of it. It changes things up. It swaps things up. You may not get the wrestlers that you actually wanted in the draft one year. You may get them in the, the next season, and I really like that aspect of it because it kind of shakes things up. And I, I really just have always enjoyed GM mode. I enjoy getting the matches ranked, but I do think they could do better on that because ranking doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in this, 
um, you basically have to have specialty matches for any match to get a five-star rating, which if you are a WWE fan or a wrestling fan in general, you know that that is absolutely not the case in real life. There have been five-star matches that were not no disqualification. There have been five-star matches that weren't hell in the cells. There's been five-star matches that were just regular matches. So I think that's something they really need to fix in the future and just make it easier to get five-star matches out of just a regular plain old, you know, fight, you know. Um, there doesn't need to be some sort of special stipulation or special match type for it to be a five-star rating. And I think that's a, the fact that you have to basically have it to get a five-star easily is a little bit annoying. I hope they fix that in the future. I also, I also hope they fix the injuries in the future because the stamina on these characters runs out so quick and they get injured, like, so, so easily. Uh, and that's also a big bummer, and I hope they fix it in the future, because, like, you could use a character for, like, four shows in a row, and then they're injured. And it's just like, well, great, just can't use them anymore. So I hope they fix that in the future as well. But like I said, I still think that this is a step in the right direction. At least there's multiple seasons, at least it keeps going, and I like the idea of you being a GM and basically competing against other GMs to get the best ratings and get your GM into the Hall of Fame. But that's a pretty cool idea, and I think that's a, a good, like I said, a good step in the right direction. This entire game... It can be summed up in that way. It just It's going the right way, so hopefully it will continue on with the next version. The actual roster in this game is probably the best roster yet, I would say, in any wrestling game. Uh, it has a fantastic roster. Roster. I mean, you have LA Knight, you have John Cena in this one. This entire game is basically around John Cena. You know, you have um, Bobby Lashley, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, you have just some fantastic wrestlers. And then on the women's side of things, you got Raquel Rodriguez. You got Rhea Ripley, Alexa Bliss. You just have, again, fantastic ro roster of wrestlers here. Probably the best out of any WWE game. And while some of the wrestlers on this roster have been cut since the release of the game, I will say you can set characters to inactive and active on a lot of the game modes. So if a character's been cut, you don't technically have to use them in your WWE game modes, or if a new character has debuted, you can just download one of the custom characters in that someone else has made and uploaded for basically anyone to download, the community creations. Which the community creations are one aspect of this game that I absolutely love. I love the community creations. I can't create crap in this game, okay? I'm not good at creating anything. I'm not good at creating my own characters. I'm not good at creating shows. I'm not good at any of that stuff. But there's some people who are really, really good at it. And they create some amazing things. There's people who have made TNA and made the TNA arena and everything. There's people who have made wrestlers that I loved to watch growing up. You know, there's Scott Steiner. There's there's uh, Sting, there's Samo Samoa Joe, um, there's different versions of them, there's EC3, there's Magnus, there's Manic, uh, there's so many great wrestlers that are on the community creations that you can download, and I absolutely love it. And there's some niche ones as well, like you can download NWA wrestlers, you can download uh, Juggalo Championship Wrestling wrestlers, which is awesome, I downloaded Violent J and Shaggy 2 Dope. Uh, it, it's awesome that you can do that stuff, and I just love that. People are, you know, supporting the community uh, creations. There's so much of it, and there's just, there's so many things to download. I don't know if you could ever get through everything. That's how much there is. Community creations really keep games like this just with, they just keep giving it content, and I love it. I love it so much. And if there's a new championship even, go to community creations, and there's probably a custom championship made for it, which is awesome. There, I downloaded the TNA championship, the X Division championship. There's the AEW championship. If you want AEW wrestlers, there you go. I've seen CM Punk on the store. I didn't download CM Punk because I don't like CM Punk. But hey, if you like CM Punk, he's available for download. MJF is available for download. There's a ton of great wrestlers that you can download that have been made by the community for this game. And that is something I absolutely love about the 2K games. And I hope they just keep supporting this in the future. And I hope they just keep letting people do more and more in the future. The one thing I will say is that I think that the entrances and the creative entrances and everything, I, I feel like they should have some better music. Uh, they don't really have a whole lot of great music. Um, maybe in the future they can let you do your own songs. I know that may have some copyright issues, but it'd be really nice if they did something like that. Another thing is I do want to talk about the soundtrack for this game real quick because the soundtrack sucks. <laughs> but luckily you can mute songs you don't like. So I basically have like three songs <laughs> that I, I like in this entire game, and those are the only three songs I listen to. It's uh, Ozzy Osbourne, 
um, and Metallica, and Doja Cat, and those are the only three people who I'll listen to on the entire soundtrack. Everyone else, I'm just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the soundtrack's not the best. But either way, there's a lot of other game modes to play through. I don't really care about the other game modes, if I'm being honest. GM is, mode is enough to keep me occupied. I do like Universe Mode, even though Universe Mode is basically just like the dumbed-down version of the GM mode. It's basically GM mode without the competition because you just control every show at that point. Um, and it's still cool. Like, you can set up money in the bank winners and stuff, and it does give you a lot more control over the actual universe and everything. It gives you a lot more control, I will say, than GM mode does. But it just doesn't feel like it has the same competition, and that's something I personally enjoy the most, is the competition of GM mode. So yeah, if you like WWE and you are looking for a great wrestling game, this is definitely the best WWE 2K game to date. It's not the best wrestling game to date, but it is the best 2K wrestling game to date, I believe. It's fantastic. I enjoy it. I put 30 hours into it, and I'm going to put well more than 30 more hours into it, probably. This is a fantastic game, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's definitely worth however much, you know, uh, it, it usually is. I've seen it drop on sale for, like, 20 to 30 bucks. So, if you can pick it up for around that, that's a really good deal. I would actually pick it up with all the DLC because I that's how I got it and I got it for really like cheap compared to if I just would have bought the game and bought all the DLC separately. Um, I think the version I bought was originally $150 and it went on sale for 60 bucks and when it went to $60 that's when I hopped on it and if you can get a deal like that that's pretty good because then you get all the bonus wrestlers you know you get Wade Barrett involved my favorite wrestler probably probably my top five favorite wrestlers of all time I love Wade Barrett. Uh, you get Leviathan, the old Batista, basically. Uh, you get John Cena when he was prototype. You get a bunch of DLC characters, and it's definitely worth getting the DLC. Um, but yeah, just wait for it to go on sale if you're going to do that, because this game goes on sale quite often. Thank you guys for watching, though. I will talk to you in the next video. You have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.